Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? I actually didn't think that I would be vlogging this early <laughs> because um, I thought that I would be spending the afternoon at the pool right until I had to get ready for our dinner tonight. But um, I will tell you about the pool in just a second. So I just got back from the pool. My hair is still wet from the pool. And uh, I mean, I've literally been home like five minutes. <laughs> so, uh, it's kind of crazy, like my day. Well, I thought I got up and it was beautiful outside. And um, and so, um, took Boo Radley out. Alex had already taken him out. Boo Radley came back in. He fell like right back asleep right next to Alex. Alex had gotten up. He had like watched some TV. Then he went back to bed. And um, so we were both kind of laying there. And I was like, I looked through my phone a little bit. And then um, I'd already done my prayers and meditations and stuff. So I came back to bed. I was like looking through my phone and stuff. And I fell back asleep. And then I like woke up. And I was like, I don't want to waste this day. Like I want to get outside. But I wanted to film this haul video. And then in the haul, um, something that I, well, the crumble cookie cereal came that I had ordered. And so I wanted to review that. But I also wanted to do my reaction to this um, documentary that I watched last night because Jennifer had reached out to me in DMs and she had told me about this documentary that I guess it just came out on Amazon Prime last month. I had never heard, it's so weird, I've never heard about this case. I've never heard about this documentary and it's called uh, The Speedway Murders. <clears throat> and it takes place in Speedway, Indiana, um, at a burger chef in 1978, which I would have been six years old at the time. You would think that like a murder, a true crime story on this level that happened in my hometown that I w would know about. And I had literally never heard of this case before. So I watched that documentary late last night. And so I wanted to turn around and make the video today because it's easiest for me to make um, a video on a TV show or a documentary like right after I watched it because it's like fresh in my head. I have all these documentary or all these uh, reaction videos that I want to do to TV shows, but it's been like some of them I haven't watched. And it's like Daryl Dixon I haven't watched in like a month. So it's like, I don't know how I'm going to get to that. But anyway, I wanted to get those videos filmed really quick and so I could go to the pool. And I had asked Alex, I said, do you want to go to the pool? And he was like, no, I'm just going to lay here. He's like, I'm really tired today until we start getting ready for dinner. So last night our dinner was at 8.30, but we met there at 7.30 because everybody was like meeting to have like drinks and stuff first. I'll explain that in a second because the place is real cute. And then um, tonight our dinner, we're meeting at 6.15. And so, and it probably, I mean, both couples have kids and they have to get back early. So this will not be a late dinner. So it's funny because <clears throat> while I was trying to upload these videos today, my neighbor, tech I was getting ready to text her. I was like, I'm going to go to the pool. Do you want to go? And so I texted her and she's like busy during the day, but she's like, do you want to go swimming tonight? And I was like, well, we're going to dinner, but I have a feeling we'll be back soon enough. So yeah, I'll probably go um, for a swim tonight. And then I said, and I'm probably going to go tomorrow after brunch if it's nice, because it's supposed to be nice. And then Monday, it's supposed to be really, really nice. And it's her birthday. And um, so I said, are we still going to the pool on Monday? It's so cute what she said. Hold on a second. <clears throat> she said, let, let me know if you, yeah, let me, let, let me know if you end up wanting to go tonight. And then, yeah, on Monday, I'm going to read, read, read. Because she got a, um, a waterproof Kindle last year and she hasn't really used it a lot. So she's so excited. She's reading all the Sarah J. Mass books. So <laughs> she's really, really excited to go to the pool and just read all day Monday on her birthday. Like, that's what she wants to do. I love that so much because we're both kind of like simple, you know, and stuff like that about just having like simple days. And she wants to have her friend over to like, watch movies and stuff and order food that night. So I've been trying to think of something like to get her for her birthday. And I think I'm just going to get her like a Grubhub or like a DoorDash card and like, so that she can like order whatever she wants to order for dinner for her and her friend that night. I think that would be, that'd be like, she'd enjoy that, you know? So anyway, I actually, I filmed these videos pretty quick today. I didn't start them until like 2.30, I think. I was like, okay, if I get these done by like 3.30, then I can go to the pool from like 3.30 to like 5. And then I was going to film my vlog tonight after we got back from dinner. But then when she texted me and she's like, do you want to go to the pool later tonight? I'm like, if we get back in time before the pool closes, then yes, I definitely want to go to the pool tonight. So I was like, okay, I would rather vlog, you know, and have it ready to go and stuff like that. I almost kind of thought about like, okay, today's the day that I'm going to like not film a vlog. But I was like, I've been going for so long. Like, I don't want to not film a vlog. So I started filming the videos at 2.30 and I actually got all three videos filmed and, and they're not short videos either. Like I think my haul is like 20 minutes. The TV, the documentary reaction is like 22 minutes and I think the review is like 11 or 14 minutes or something like that. 
Maybe one of them shorter than that, I don't know. But I filmed all three and got, and like the review video is already up, and the other two are pub, are, be, are um, uploading right now. I was like, oh, see, you could do this stuff quick if you want to go to the pool. You get get up, get in the, get up early in the morning, film three videos that quick, and in an hour and a half, you could have all that three videos ready to go and go to the pool and then come back and film another video or two. So that was good for me to know. But then I was like folding laundry, and I just kind of like was waiting. So finally, I didn't get to the pool until like five after four. And um, I went up there and one of my neighbors was like watering the plants. Who just texted me? One of my neighbors was watering the plants. Here I'm holding this coffee and I haven't, I took coffee up there and then I just like poured it into one of these cups when I got back. And she seemed real irritated and um, I didn't really get it at first and then because I could see her like on that, I could see her like pulling on like the hose and stuff like that. And um, my neighbor across the street, she did, so they have like each month, like somebody in like the landscaping committee takes a month to the pool. And so my neighbor across the street was June. This woman's July, she's very, very nice. And I was like, she's never frustrated. And so when I could kind of tell she was frustrated, I couldn't really, like, I was walking up. She just like, I could tell by the way that she was like pulling on the hose. And so when I got up there, there was like a mom in the shallow end with three little girls and they were I mean literally all under the age of like five or six and I mean one of them was like one and a half and they had every so there's a basket like when you go into the, like the it's not a clubhouse but it's like just you know this where they have bathrooms and changing rooms and stuff like that when you go into it to the right is the women's bathroom and to the left is the men's bathroom and then in the middle is like this wash off shower kind of thing well they keep this big tub of like toys that people have left for like years so there's like noodles in there and floats and goggles and all kinds of toys for kids and stuff like that literally the entire basket was like in the pool scattered around the pool and whatever and the woman was trying to, to my neighbor was trying to water the plants and she couldn't get around the toys and every time she would like move the house like go to it because it's like different areas of landscaping around the pool and she tried to go to a different area like the kids would like run towards her and she was trying to be really really nice about it and the mom wasn't saying anything the mom was like talking to this one girl in the pool and she was like so what do you want to be for halloween oh you want to be elsa well you are anna now you can be elsa and all this kind of stuff and i just was like so I was just sitting there and I was like, I finally was like, I said to my neighbor, I said, hey, thanks so much for watering the plants. And she was like, oh no. I was like, is July your month? Because I was telling her, you know, my neighbor was June. She's like, oh yeah, July's my month. And so we were talking and I said, well, I appreciate you doing it. I said, if there's ever a day that you can't do it and you need somebody to do it, just let me know. I'm always at home. And she's like, oh, that's really nice to know. I really appreciate it. And I was like, yeah, no problem. <clears throat> but every place that she went, these kids would like, they were like picking up the hose. They were, and the mom wasn't saying anything. So... There was another couple that was, like, at the end of the pool, the deep end of the pool, and the dad was, like, sitting on, and he was, like, probably my age, and he was, like, sitting on the edge of the pool, and, like, they have, like, a lot of rules in the pool, like, no glass bottles, and he was, like, drinking out of a glass, you know, he was, like, drinking, like, a Mike's Hard Lemonade, and his kids were in the pool, and he was with his wife, and whatever, they, they were pretty quiet, like, they were nice, but here's the thing, and then the mom, like, her husband was sitting on the other end, you could hardly even see him because he was behind the bushes, and she would just, like, shout something at him every once in a while. The other, the, their kids were, like, I mean, and we're talking less than five. These were little, little kids. We're running everywhere, okay? And um, throwing stuff down. There were, like, melted wrappers of candy on the floor and stuff like that. And so I, like, put my bag up, and I got, like, right in the shallow end. Well, at that point, when I got in the shallow end, the mom, like, got out, and she went over to sit with the dad and, like, cracked open, like, a Truly or something like that, and they were sitting back. Well, the little girl stayed in the shallow end, and they just started splashing the hell out of each other. And the one girl, and I'm literally sitting, like, a foot away. Now, I've said this before. If you're going to get in a pool, you know you're going to get splashed, right? And so I just, at first, I was kind of like, whatever. Well, then they started, like, literally, like, splashing me. They had goggles on and so they were like splashing each other because they wanted to see if they could get like water in the goggles and so then they started splashing me and they were like you need goggles and I was like <laughs> you know I was trying to be nice about it and the mom was like and they this one girl started she said we can't get water in our goggles and the mom was like uh -huh, I see you and then she was like he needs goggles and the mom just laughed and I'm like you literally have left your three little toddlers in the pool and I mean I'm not a babysitter and the rule of the pool is you're, and this is what's, this is now what's happening. Like, people ask me, there's a lot of grandparents. There's actually not a lot of grandparents with kids at the pool. What's happening now is grandparents are giving their kids the, the key to just take their kids to the pool on the weekend. It's like, this is like public, the public pool, right? And the rule is that you cannot, like, people can't be at the pool 
without the people that live in the community. So if they're gonna be at the pool, the grandparent has to be there with them. Like the, the member that lives in the neighborhood. And so my neighbor, she looked at me and she goes, do you know who these people are? And I said, I've never seen them before. And I said, she goes, should we say something? And I said, because the people at the very end of the pool, like other than drinking on the glass bottle, like they were being completely fine. And the, they were just like, the dad and the mom were just like, the dad was sitting there and the mom was like on a floaty talking to him. And the kids were like, probably like 10 and 12 and they were being like totally fine. I think they had another, maybe they had three kids and one of them was a little bit younger, but they were all like, they were being very polite and whatever. But it was interesting because when I looked down there, like they had brought folding chairs, coolers, like both, both families had brought like, I mean the, the other family, the little girls, they had three little chairs sitting up. Like Adirondack, little plastic Adirondack chairs. They had a whole cooler. And I'm like, oh, they came for a pool day. <laughs> they don't live in this neighborhood. And so she said to me, she goes, like, my neighbor was like, do you know who these people are? And I said, I've never seen them before in my life. And she said, should we say something? And I said, you know, I said, here's where I'm at with it. I said, I offered my services. So I had offered and there was like this whole like email that went around and stuff like that. And they're like, we don't need to do that. People know that you're not supposed to like have other people. Well, nobody knows that. And I was like, listen, I, my neighbor and I have talked about this because she has come so close to saying stuff to people. Um, and she's like, no, she's like, I don't care. Cause I said, I don't want to be the bitch of the neighborhood. Like, I don't want people to be like, oh, there he is. You know, I don't want to be that. Like, and if people are being cool, but like when you're sitting there and I know, like, if you're in a pool, you're going to get splashed by kids. I understand that, but this isn't your pool, right? Like it's a different story when it's like, <laughs> and we all pay money to have this pool. I can't go enjoy the pool because somebody that doesn't even live here, his kids are in there splashing, right? Like, and so she said that to me and I was like, I said, listen, I said, I would have when the pool opened and I offered to like be, you know, in charge, like my neighbor and I offered to be like the pool committee, but they didn't want that. They didn't ask, they, they said, we don't need that. I said, so no, I said, I don't want to be like the nasty neighbor that's telling everybody they shouldn't be here. What am I going to tell them? They're going to pack up all their stuff. And she's like, yeah, I agree. She's like, but I'm having like a really hard time like watering the plants and stuff like that. And I said, well, and so I started kind of helping her move the hose and stuff like that. She was really sweet. And we talked a little bit. She just moved in here like a year ago. And so she's really, really nice. But anyway, and the other couple that was down at the end, they were super nice. But, like, the kids just kept on, like, I mean, they were, like, they kept on going in this basket and bringing, I mean, there were toys everywhere. There was melted candy on the, and I was, like, I, at first I, like, went down to go pick one up, and it was, like, melted to the ground. And I was, like, I am not getting all sticky because these people, have, like, their kids were eating candy, and they were just, like, throwing it down there, and the people weren't looking at it and stuff like that. So when they put out, a, they will put something out about it, and that's when I'll say, well, there were, people up there that shouldn't have been up there because they weren't with any members of the community and they whatever. And I, and I offered, my neighbor and I offered to be in charge of the pool committee. You guys didn't want it. So it is what it is. But anyway, so I had told Alex because he was like laying down again and I said, I'm going to go to the pool and I'm either going to be up there until we get ready to go to the, um, I know there's some people out there that love like the drama of the pool. It's just like, you know, it's a beautiful day. I wanted to go to the pool. I wanted to enjoy it. I can, I, I can, I totally tolerate and understand some splashing in the pool. I do my fair share of splashing. She and I, when we go to the pool, my neighbor across the corner, we do some splashing too, okay? But it's not like splashing somebody. Like, I mean, these girls were splashing and the mother was looking right at them. And she said nothing to these girls whatsoever. And, you know, it's, it's, there's been so many different cases with different people up there that I'm kind of like, do people, like, is this just a common thing that people just let their kids do, like, whatever? And it was interesting because there was this other woman up there that she was leaving, and when the one girl was running around, because they were, the girls were sitting with me, like, on the shot, like, I was sitting on one side of, like, the bar that goes down, I'm sitting on one side, and my coffee was next to me. They were on the other side, and this woman, this is when I first got in, the mother left, this woman was leaving, and she said, how old is your youngest daughter? I said, these are not my kids, I have no idea who they are. And she goes, oh, she goes, well, they were like talking to you and stuff. I said, I, yeah, she, I said, their parents are over there. And I pointed to them and the woman kind of like turned around. She goes, who are they? I said, I don't, I have no idea who they are. And she was like, oh, I thought they were your kids. I'm like, no, they're not my kids. Right. And it's like that kind of mentality of being responsible for, I mean, I mean, if something happened to one of the kids, obviously I would like, you know, help rescue them and stuff like that. But it's, I just wanted to enjoy the pool. For, you know, like, 45 minutes. At the, it's just constant like that. So, it, it seems like this summer it's been either there's, like, nobody there or it's been like that. And like I said, the weekends are typically pretty quiet. So, I was kind of surprised when I went up there today. But this was obviously a planned event for both of these families because they brought coolers and chairs and the whole nine yards. Um, so, yeah. So, I got up there and I was like, I can either stay up here and get splashed for 45 minutes, which the water... 
was so nice. But I was like, or I can come back up here with my neighbor later. I can get my vlog done so that it's uploading and then I can post it when I come home and then I can go to the pool with my neighbor if we don't get home too late. I mean, we might go get ice cream or something afterwards, but I doubt it. So I was like, I would rather go to the pool when I come home with a, oh, what is, oh, there's a bee, it's a bee. Oh shit, that's a huge bee. Excuse my language. Do you guys see this? Did you see it? I thought it was a butterfly, it was so big at first. Um, but I was like, I would rather go with my neighbor. Now on Monday, I'm, tr I'm thinking I might try to film like a drama video tomorrow night, going into Monday to have something to post. But I'm thinking about, I I'll still vlog like when I get back from going to the pool on Monday. But I'm thinking about just not filming any videos on Monday at all. Unless I get up early and I film like two or three videos before I go to the pool, if I do that. But I really wanna spend some time, with, if, if, if I get up and, I, and it's nice, it's supposed to be like, I think it's like mostly sunny and like 92 degrees. Um. Oh, somebody texted me that Richard Simmons passed away at 76. How sad is that? And Shelly Duvall just passed away. Did you guys see that at 75? My God, it's so sad. I feel like everybody from my generation of when I was growing up is gone. So sad. I don't know anything about how he passed, but I loved Richard Simmons when I was a kid. So it's 91 and partly cloudy right now for temperature check and the current time is 447. So anyway, I stayed there for like 20 minutes and I came back, I was like, I'm just gonna vlog now. And then I'll have my vlog done and I don't have to worry about doing it when I get back from dinner. If I wanna go to the pool, if we get back in time, I can. If I don't, then I can take a walk or watch a movie with Alex or something like that. So yeah, okay, let's look at the weather for Monday. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 90, partly cloudy, hot and humid, high near 90. Monday, oh, mostly sunny skies, high of 93, hot and humid. So yeah, and then on Tuesday, partly cloudy in the morning, thunderstorms. So Monday will be the day. So I haven't really, other than on vacation, taken like a whole day where I don't do anything, I just go to the pool. So I think Monday will be the day for that, especially because it's her birthday and all that kind of stuff. So if she's up there and she wants to order lunch, maybe I'll just order us lunch while we're at the pool and like I pay for it. She said she's, I was like, are you gonna have fun, friends to the pool? She's like, I might have one, but other than that, everybody has to work. So she's like, I'm taking the day off. She's like, I just wanna read by the pool. So she's like, if it's just you and I up here or whatever and 10,000 kids, <laughs> she'll go crazy if that's the case. <laughs> she's at about her limit. It's so funny because she's like, I never was this person like, you know, three or four years ago. I go, yeah, I know you weren't. And she's like, now she's like constantly like, she'll like question people at the pool. She'll be like, do you live in the community? Oh, you don't? Okay. And she's like, she like is always like asking more questions than me. It's funny. So last night we went to dinner for Alex's, like one of his best friend's birthday. And um, so it was her and her boyfriend. I think it was like five or, it was, it was, 10, it was 14 people total. And um, there's like two sober people in this group that are like sober, sober. So for me, it's like not uncomfortable or anything. And it, and it was really fun. Like we had a really good time last night. I actually talked to some people that I didn't know as well from like this group, like partners that I like knew, but I hadn't really met that that much. So Alex says, his, one of his, this is one of his best friends that he like does so much stuff with. And um, she's so sweet, I love her. And so it's her boyfriend his best friend and his girlfriend sat across from us. And so I talked to them, like Alex and I talked to them most of the time, then Alex sat next to his friend. It was so much fun and we went to the, okay, so there's this new area in Fishers, Indiana, which is like the north side of Indiana. It's so funny because it's like where Tanya lives, this area and stuff like that. It was so small, like forever. I lived in Fishers for forever and it was so small, like really small. And now it's blown up in the last couple of years. And so there's this, they have Fisher's District, which is like on the other side of the interstate, but before you get over there, if you live in Indianapolis, it's on 116th Street. So there used to be this restaurant in Indianapolis that we used to go to like after meetings a lot, Tanya and I. If we didn't go as a big group to Psalms, we would go to this place called the Nickel Plate, and I loved it. And before I was a vegetarian, they had the best chicken fingers and fries in the entire world, and the honey mustard. And I loved it so much, and it was called the Nickel Plate. Well, they took that down. And the reason it was called the Nickel Plate was because it was where the railroad station like ran right by it. And so it was called like the Nickel Plate, Plate Station or something. It was like an old restaurant. Well, that has all been taken down. On the other side of the street now, from where the restaurant used to be, they built the Nickel Plate Hotel, which is like this gorgeous hotel. It's like, 
it, it's not big. It's like probably, I would say, six to eight stories. And it kind of looks like ironworks or bottle works in it. It looks like old, like an old building, like redone. And inside it, they had like a bar, like a really cute bar and restaurant that was like very casual outside. And so we all met there. I don't remember what the place was called, but it was in the downstairs of the Nickel Plate Hotel. I'd never been in this place. I'd never seen it. It was really cute. And they're doing all these places. They're making them really, really nice. I just got coffee all over my hand because I was like cupping it like that and it spilled. But anyway, so we all met over there at 7.30 and well, I think we got there at like 7.40. And they were all having drinks and stuff like that. And we were talking. And then we walked across the street. I mean, it's literally like just like a little alley. It's where the, on top of this parking garage. There's a macaroon. <laughs> hold on. There's a macaroon store right next to it, which I guess is like a franchise. I don't remember what it's called. But we went in there. It was really, really cool. They had like little chocolates, mac macaroons, which, okay. So when we were done, the girl was really, really nice. So Alex was getting them because his friend loves these. So he was getting them for her birthday. And so I said to the girl that was working there, I said, can I ask you a question? I've always wanted to ask this. I said, I feel like every time I say it a different way, somebody tells me it's wrong. I said, is it macaroon or is it macaron? And she said, it's macaron. And she goes, I said, you get asked that every day. She goes, every single day. I get asked that like 20 times a day. And I goes, she goes, we never correct people. I said, so it's macaron, not macaroon. She goes, it's macaron. And I go, okay. <laughs> so, but they had all these cookies in there. It was really cool. And then we went to the restaurant. And the restaurant, I think it was called Tiburon. T-I-B-U-R-I-N or something like that. It was really a cute restaurant. They had like a lot of sushi, a lot of seafood. But then they had a lot of vegetarian options too. Alex and I actually did this like... Um, it was like this a marinara sauce that you dipped like bread in it as an appetizer. And then I got a wedge salad with no bacon on it. And then I was full. And Alex was like, I, I made very good choices last night. I was very proud of myself because I only ate like two or three pieces of the bread. with It, it was like hard bread. With like little slices of like, you know, like they put bruschetta on um, with the tomato sauce. And then I had the wedge salad and I ate like half of that. A little more people going to the pool. More kids going to the pool. And then... Um, Alex got a, it was called a caprese pizza, and it looked like a caprese salad, and I had one piece of that, and it was so delicious, and I was full. I was like, okay, no, I'm gonna, when I'm not, when I'm full, I'm done, and I had, like, two Diet Cokes and a coffee. It was so much fun. We had, we got there at, like, well, we got there at, like, 7.30. The place is beautiful. I don't know if this is, like, a chain restaurant or whatever, but they had, like, this fish tank in there that had all, um, what do you call it, uh, jellyfish that light up. It was really, really cool. The whole place, they had surfboards places, but it was like upscale. It was really beautiful. Um, and it was so fun. So I was going to the bathroom and I don't know if I want to say this person, I shouldn't say this person's name on video because I don't know if they want their, their name said or not, but there was this group of women that was like, had the best table in the house. And I, I found out it's because they knew the manager of this restaurant because they told me that. So anyway, I was going to the restroom and they were like standing there and as I was like walking up to the restroom like the manager was talking to them and was like we're gonna order you an uber and whatever and I was thinking to myself oh these girls are tanked like they have to like the manager's telling them they're gonna get an uber I didn't realize he was like friends with them and he was like arranging the whole thing because it was this girl's birthday <laughs> so I'm like walking by them right well um, so I'm going to the bathroom and as I go to the bathroom, like he said something to them that was real funny and I like turn back to like laugh. Do you ever do that? Like you hear something you're like, <laughs> like to laugh and I look back and the girl looks at me and she about comes out of her seat and she goes, I love you or I like you. And I was like, what? <laughs> and like it caught me off. She didn't say like, oh my God, I love you or anything like that. She was like, which is like, you know, like when you know, see somebody, you know, you go, oh my God, I love you. I haven't seen you in forever. Right. But she was like, I like you. And I go, what? And like it kind of caught me off guard and I go, what? And she goes, I like Peter, Mon, right? And I go, yeah. And she goes, I watch all your videos. Videos. And then it was like all of a sudden total silence at the table and all the women were like they were all like nodding and I was like What uh, oh you watch my videos and she's like yeah, she's like my mom and I she's like she doesn't live here anymore But she was like she's watched your your videos like since you started and she loves your videos and did they she was so nice And it was her 30. I think she said it was her 31st birthday. It was her 31st birthday. I gave them such a hard time. I was like, oh, y'all are so tanked. You have to get an Uber, huh? They were laughing. They're like, no, that's our friend's the manager. He arranged this whole dinner for us and stuff like that. I was like, isn't this place gorgeous? They were so nice. They were so friendly. Like, I would have sat down there and had dinner with them. They were so much fun. And so, oh, there's my neighbor getting the mail. So anyway, they were like, she was telling me about like, you know, her mom and where her mom lives and stuff like that. And 
all these girls were from Anderson, which is where the casino is from. Or like three of the girls were from Anderson, which is where the casino is from. And I said, oh, that's where I, I thought you looked familiar. I know you from the casino. And they were laughing and stuff like that. But anyway, then I said to the girl, I said, should we take a picture and send it to your mom? And I never usually say that. Like Alex is usually like, do you want a picture or something like that? But I was like, she was like, oh yeah, let's do it. So every time I walked by their table, I was like, tell your mom. I said, hi. She's like, I already did. I already did. They were so sweet. They were so nice. And um, like three of them at the table were like, oh yeah, we all watch your videos. I was like, really? Like that hardly ever ever happens to me. So I got back from like the table from going to the bathroom. I sat down and one of Alex's really good girlfriends was like, um, did you see, did that, that group of women over there, were they telling you that they like your videos? And I was like, yeah, they were really super sweet and whatever. And she's like, when I walked to the bathroom, they were all looking at you and they were pointing and she goes, I heard them say, that's Peter Mon. He's like one of my favorite YouTubers. And I was like, oh my God, that makes me so happy. She's like, I wondered if they were going to say something to you or not. So anyway, um, it's so funny when it happens around people that like, like I said, like, I mean, I went to dinner last night. Not one person asks me what I do. They don't like, are you make videos? What do you make videos? Nobody ever asks me that kind of stuff. <laughs> So, you know, it's so funny to me, like, when that happens, and then people are like, oh my god, like, how do these people know you? <laughs> like, what? Oh, you know, they don't get it, right? And it hardly ever does. Like, usually if it happens out in public, it's like when we're with Melissa and Jason. But it was so funny. It totally made my night. And they were so nice. This group of women were so, so nice, and they were so friendly, and they just were so funny. Like, I was, like, joking with them and stuff. Usually, I'm like... I feel really awkward in situations. Like, I actually thought about this afterwards because I went to the bathroom after, like, I got done eating and I, like, had to go to the bathroom really quick. And so, I, like, not because of that. I had to pee. So, anyway, <laughs> I have. To, I feel like I have to clarify that, you know? Like, well, we're just friends over here talking, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, but I, like, when I walked away, I was like, oh, my God, does my breast stink? Like, when I was talking to them, I felt, I was, like, so embarrassed about it. But they were so nice. They were so fun. I was like, oh, my God. They kind of reminded me of Caroline and her friends. And I was like, I could have just sat down here and had dinner with them. They were so much fun. So cheers to you and happy birthday to you. And if you're watching this, say something in the comment section below. But I just didn't want to say your name on video in case you didn't want that. But anyway, and hey, it's your mom too. So anyway, that was really fun. It totally made my night. So then after that, we left there at like 10.45. And Alex, okay, so the, the people, that couple that we sat across from, the girl's boyfriend's best friend and his girlfriend, there was like some rave at this place, not a rave rave, but it was like supposed to be like a retrospective of like what raves were like in the 90s, but they were doing it at the Vogue, but it was only to like one or two. And so he had like gotten a table there or something. And Alex kind of didn't want to go. They were talking about doing either doing that or going back to her house. And Alex was like, do you want to go to this thing in Broader Pool? And I was like, no, I don't at all. And um, not to mention, like, in the last month alone, like, this area of Indianapolis and Broader Pool, which is where all the bars are that, like, Butler students go to. In the last month alone, there's been, like, I think on 4th of July weekend, there were, like, eight shootings there. I'm like, no, I have, I, I'm not going to some, I went to raves back in the day. I don't need to go to a rave today. People are like, aren't music festivals kind of like raves? No, they're completely different. Music festivals and raves are completely different. I was like, I don't need to be going to any, I don't, listen, I remember the raves. I was there. None of you were, were at raves back in the day. You're too young. I remember what they're like. I don't need to go and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, so Alex was like, okay, well, I'll drive you home because our house was on the way. And so he drove the other couple, the girl whose birthday it was and her boyfriend. And then another car followed. And so then like they all got, like Alex dropped me off and put the car here. And then they all got in her car and then they drove to Broader Bowl. And it was really weird because like I came inside and like I took Boo Radley out, gave him his medicine, gave him some more food and all that kind of stuff. Went upstairs, changed my pajamas, talked to Tanya for like 30 minutes. And then I was getting ready to watch. I just made my list of videos that I wanted to make for today if it wasn't nice outside. And I was sitting at the computer and um, I think I just posted my vlog or something like that and Alex texted me and he's like, I'm on my way home. And it was like 12.15 and I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, you weren't even out that long. He was like, it was boring. I'm on my way home to watch Love Island. <laughs> he was so excited. So he came home and put his pajamas on and uh, this is so funny because I always say this, but this sounds like Alex's car, but I think it's the, post, the postman. Post guy. Post office guy? I don't know what we say. But I can hear the car. But it sounds like Alex's car. But it's not Alex's. Alex's Alex is upstairs sleeping. So anyway, he came home, put his pajamas on, and then, and Tony was asking me like a million questions. All these people are texting me, telling me to ask Alex what he thinks about Love Island. And so, they were texting. Tony was texting Alex about it because she had already watched it. She asked me if Alex had already watched it. I was like, no, he's out at this 
fake rave thing. <laughs> and so he'll be home and he's going to watch it. I think he left early because he couldn't wait to watch. That's when you know you're getting old, okay? Is that you would leave being out with your friends to come home and watch a TV show. That That's truly when you know you're getting old. So anyway, he like changes his pajamas and then he watched Love Island. And when he watched Love Island, I started watching. Oh, that was when I was like looking for shows to watch. I started it late. It was like one something. I started it and Jennifer reached out to me in DMs and she's like, if you haven't seen this documentary, it's really good on Amazon Prime. I thought it was like old. I didn't realize until I started looking it up that it had just come out in June and it was called The Speedway Murders. And so it was like an hour and a half and I watched it last night. Well, after I got done with that, then I was like, okay, I just want to have like, maybe I'll have a whole weekend of true crime. In fact, I was really thinking about starting Love Island, but I now have like 30 episodes to end, to catch up and Love Island, I think it ends, the camera stopped. How much time do I have left? I have to start getting ready here in about 15, 20 minutes. Um, so Love Island, I think has... Oh, shoot. I don't know. I think it has, like, 30... Alex said past seasons are 37 episodes, and it's at, like, episode 32 or something like that. And so I'd have to watch all of that this weekend to catch up to... Because I want to watch the ending in real time with him, right? So there's not really a point. And Big Brother starts this week. It starts on Wednesday, I think. So I'm so, so... So my, my neighbor's across the street talking. So I'm so, so, so excited about Big Brother starting. So I was like, well, Love Island, I can go back and I can watch that, you know, and whatever. And so I started watching this documentary last night called, because I really, to be honest with you, so the Speedway murders takes place in 1978. I sometimes really get into these moments where I really love like old, like true crime from like the 70s. And so there was this documentary series on Amazon that I had put on my list and it was called The Eleven. <clears throat> and it's six episodes, and it was about, like, 11 girls that were, um, that were, uh, what do you call it? They were kidnapped and or murdered, and I think they were all murdered, in Galveston, Texas, in the 70s. Like, 1971 to, like, 1979. And so, somebody confessed to it. And so, the first episode is about the missing girls and then the guy that confessed to it. And this police investigator that he, he's like 75 now, but he was so good looking back in the day. They show all these pictures of him back in the day. And um, he goes back to figure out if, like, this guy was really responsible for it. And there's a journalist. There's, like, a team. They call it, like, the Project 11 team or something like that. They're all, like, working on it to try to find out the truth of what happened to the case. So, he started watching the first episode. In all honesty... It's okay. It very much feels like 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 48 hours or something like that, but maybe not as good. I don't know. I just like the first episode didn't catch me. I was like, I cannot. Like I'm and I was getting really really tired. So then I started looking up other documentaries. And for some reason, I was looking up Gone, the for, the Lost Women of Ohio, the Forgotten Women of Ohio. I love that documentary about uh, Chillicothe County, Ohio, and they ended up, so I, I was looking it up, and underneath there, there was this documentary called The Vanishing Women, and it was about the same county, and I was like, have I watched this documentary before? I don't know if I have. Like, the Gone, the, the Lost Women, or for, Forgotten Women of Ohio, is about all these women that were, like, com combined through, like, drug trade, prostitution, all this kind of stuff. Was such a sad and such a great documentary, but they just stopped it because the producers were being threatened. I keep on feeling like I see somebody, like, walking around the side of the house. It might be my neighbor, and they're, like, they hear me out here, and they're, like, wanting to say hi, but, like, they just peek. I feel like on the corner of my eye, I feel like seeing somebody peeking their head around the corner. But anyway, um, if you're there, come say hi. But anyway, so this is about the same cases. So I started watching it, but I was like, have I seen this before? The the gone about the gone one is like a hundred times scarier and better than the vanishing women. So I watched like half of one of these episodes on Dis it was on Discovery Plus. I I think it's on Max too, because they're combined now or something, but I couldn't really find it on Max. It was okay. It wasn't, I just was, I was like, I need a really good true crime documentary to get into. So, at that point, then I was like, okay, go to bed and get a good night's sleep. I mean, it was like 4.45. It wasn't like it was, you know, 2 o'clock in the morning. When Alex went to bed, I think he went to bed and it was like right at 2 o'clock in the morning. Because he got done with Love Island. He was watching like the after show or the 
catch up or TikToks or something about it. And he's like, um, cause I wasn't wearing my AirPods and he was. And so he was like, Hey babe, I'm going to bed. Can you put your AirPods in? And I was like, yeah. And so I put my AirPods in and that was, I was like, I'm not going to be up much longer. That was when I was finishing the Speedway murders. And that was like at two o'clock. And I was like, I'm going to go to bed after this is done. And I didn't, I pushed it and I stayed up and I wish I hadn't. Um, cause I would have got a lot more sleep. So yeah. So last night was so fun. And then that was like a big like birthday dinner thing. Tonight we're going with the two couples that like, it's like our two couple friends that were, well, other than Melissa and Jason and Aaron and Eric, that's like another, like two couples that we're really close with. But these couples are the ones that we like travel with a lot and or travel, have traveled with. And we go out to dinner like once a month as couples. And we are going to Saber and Carmel, which I love Saber. It's a really cute restaurant. It'll be very, very busy. It's right in like Main Street, downtown, old part of Carmel, um, which is where I grew up. None of this stuff existed when I was there. <laughs> it's funny because there was this bar when I was in high school that was kind of known for like you could get whatever you wanted to get at this bar and it didn't really matter how old you were. And I can never remember what the name of this bar is. I should look it up. I should text Caroline because Caroline still goes there sometimes because she knows it. There's two bars in Carmel that you can smoke in and it's like nippers and her girlfriends always want to go there and she's like, I hate it. It's like you walk out of there and you smell like an ashtray. But anyway, one of them is called nippers and the other one's this one that's on Main Street and the bar is so old. I mean, like when you, I mean, it's like all this new shops, new restaurants, new cute stuff, and then it's this bar, and it's been there since like before I was like, I and mean, I think it was there when I was in elementary school. I should look it up. Hold on. If I put in old bar, I can never remember what it's called, which is so funny because we used to talk about it all the time in high school. Main Street, Carmel. <laughs> Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Old Town Tavern. How did I forget that? I mean, this place is so... It is Bar Bar. I mean, it is Bar Bar. How long... Is it... Say how long it's been open. I would love if there was, like... Opened when... I would love to know when it opened. What year? Hamilton County Food Book Traces Carmel Restaurant. Old Town Tavern. Does it say on here? It doesn't say... God, that'd be so funny. I bet it opened, I mean, I bet it opened like in the 70s or 60s, or not 60s, but 70s, I bet. Oh my God, the Jim Dandy. I forgot all about the Jim Dandy that was in Carmel. I know the one in Noblesville because my sponsor and I used to go there. And I said to him one time, what should I get? And he goes, the Jim Dandy, of course. <laughs> I forgot there was one in, in Carmel though. Oh my God, this is all old time stuff of Carmel where I grew up. This is so funny. Oh, they're talking about the Ellis room, the Ellis Airs Tea Room. That was downtown Indianapolis. Here's a Jim Dandy. Oh, that oh, this is the one. Oh my God! It says Connor Street, Noblesville, Indiana. This is still open. This is the Jim Dandy that I'm talking about right here. This is the Jim Dandy that I used to go to with my sponsor. It is still open in Noblesville, Indiana. Is that not absolutely hilarious? Oh my God! Why are they talking about all these different things? No, eh, you can't find out. Does it have a website? Do they have a website? <laughs> of course they don't have a website. Why would Old Town Tavern have a website? Old Town Tavern. Your favorite neighborhood bar, sports bar, and American restaurant. God, I wish it would say where, how long it's been open. There's nothing on it. I bet it's been open since the 70s though. I mean, it is, it still looks the same inside that it did back then, like when you walk by and stuff like that. Anyway, but Savor is kind of like an artsy, fun restaurant, and it's newer. It opened probably three or four years ago. Um, we went there, the last time I went there was for Alex's mom's birthday. Was that last year or was that the year before? I can't remember. But that was the last time that we went, and it was really fun. And they have a good menu, and they have a lot of vegetarian options. They have a lot of seafood. And stuff. It seems like places that have seafood have a lot of vegetarian options. I can probably tell you what I'm going to get right now. I'm actually not super hungry. Um, savor caramel. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. Alex said he has some shows he wants to watch. He's already seen Thumb on the Wii, so he won't want to watch that with me. Okay, here it is. The website, Savor Restaurant. Uh-oh, something's going on. Savor Restaurant. Oh, 
wood-fired fresh dishes. A great food experience awaits you at Savor Restaurant in Carmel, Indiana. Fresh handmade pasta, succulent desserts. Our menu has a wide selection of freshly cooked wood-fired dishes made from the fine. I'll probably just maybe get like a wood-fired pizza or something. Oh my god, this pasta looks so good though, doesn't it? I'm sure it's not vegetarian. Menu. Oh, here's the menu. Why do they have it so small? It's so hard to see. To share the salad. Let's see. They have a house salad and a chopped salad. The chopped salad has bacon in it. The house salad, romaine and spring lettuce, bruschetta tomatoes, and shredded mozzarella. I'll probably get the house salad. Unless they have, they don't have a wedge. I love a wedge like nobody's business. And then they have lobster risotto. No, thank you. Okay, specialties. I don't remember what I got here last time. I think maybe just like a pizza or something or pasta. Most places that I'll go, they'll be like, yeah, we'll do like... Alex always says this to me. He's like, they have a lot of vegetarian options. I'm like, mm, I'm looking at the menu right now. I don't remember. This menu doesn't look like what I remember it looking like. I remember Alex's uncle getting like a seafood tower there. Do they have a seafood tower and appetizers? The works. Oh, no, these are the pizzas. Oh, okay, they have a bunch of pizzas. Oh, sandwiches. <gasps> Do they have a sandwich that I can have? Oh, they have wood-fired pizzas. Oh, the garden. This is probably what I'll get. Spinach, mushrooms, artichokes. That looks really good. Where's the appetizer? Because I'm almost positive his uncle got a seafood tower or something like that. He always does. Like, wherever we go places, he always gets, like, the seafood tower. Why do I not see it on here? Anyway, that's tonight. And then tomorrow, Alex was like, if it's nice, he wants to go to the pool. If we go to brunch tomorrow, if we, I mean, we usually do. So after brunch, go to brunch and then go to the pool. And then, um, so I don't know, like other than my vlog, I don't know if I'm gonna film the next two days. I might just take the next two days off and just kind of relax and stuff like that. I've been filming a lot this week, so, and I honestly, I didn't think that I was gonna film. I mean, I filmed three videos besides this, so this is four videos that I filmed today. I really didn't think I was gonna do that at all. We should see if anybody's interested in my um, crumble cookie re cereal review, because it's already posted. Are the other two videos posted? I don't think they are. Um, bum, 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 bum. Peter reviews stuff. It's doing okay. 274 views. Oh, I thought you could only get it at Walmart. Somebody said, I bought it last week at Target. I liked it. People are talking about Cookie, cookie Crisp. I've never heard of it. I'll have to try it and compare it. That's what I'll do on there. Let's go over to the vlog and see what people had to say on the vlog. Should we answer a few comments? Okay, let's get into it. The Humble Spud said, Phew, finally caught up in my Pete vlogs. Life's great. <laughs> so, there's very few people in my life that call me Pete. My dad and my stepmom call me Pete. Tanya, every once in a while, calls me Pete. Her son calls me Uncle Pete. Nick does. And he was texting me this week because he was like, hey, like, let's hang out, blah, 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 whatever, and like, go have dinner and stuff. Um, and so, uh, so I was like talking to Tanya about that last night. And he always calls me, he'll call me like Uncle Pete Pete, which is so funny. Alex, every once in a blue moon, calls me Pete. Like, especially, well, if he's with my dad, like, he'll like say like Pete this or Pete that. But like, it's funny because very few people do. I don't think of myself as a Pete. I, I will tell you one thing that happens is when I like, when I'm like at stores or like gas stations or whatever, and like very kind of like, if like, if like a very kind of like butch guy is like trying to help me, he'll like call me Pete instead of Peter, which I always think is really interesting. I don't know why, but that happens, like that's happened quite a bit in my life. I don't mind Pete. My mom actually, well, I mean, she named me Peter for several reasons. The Apostle Peter, Pete Seeger, the singer. Um, but one of the reasons why the folk singer was that she thought that like when I was younger, I could be like Peter or Pete like in high school. And then as I got older, like as an older guy, like my age now, I could be Pete. Nobody really calls me Pete. I'm not like opposed to it, but I definitely feel more of a Peter than a Pete. <laughs> Peter? Pete. But I would totally go by Pete if people wanted to start calling me Pete. Should I change my name? I always wanted to change my name when I was a little kid. I wanted to be a J, like a PJ, but there was like, no, I have no junior. And my middle initial, I feel, I, I feel, I just told this story not too long ago. My middle initial is A, Alexander. And I was like, PA, that's so stupid. And then there was this professional tennis player here in town that's like a coach and his name's PA. And I was like, oh my God, I could have been PA. But I always wanted to be like a J, like, 
a love like like PJ, I would have loved to be a PJ. Oh my god. But I'm not a I'm not a a, a junior. Adriana said, I love this vlog so much. I put this in my favorites to watch again. Oh, you are so sweet. Um, okay, I was asking for Dean Koontz suggestions. And these four walls said, I just read The Bad Weather Friend by Dean Koontz and really enjoyed it. Etta, also, The House at the End of the World is newer one by him that's really good. I feel like that's the one that I read, maybe. I don't know why all of his titles sound familiar to me. Um, <clears throat> Allie said, hi, Peter, I just finished watching Supercell on Netflix, and I think Alex would really enjoy it. It's a series about people with superpowers, but it's really original and exciting, not like all these. Actually, Tanya told me that um, she she loved it, and so I will tell Alex to watch that. Somebody told me the Odd Thomas series by Dean Koontz. Um, so, user, I don't know, what user of something, 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 something. I have the first book, and I don't think I've ever read it. I think maybe I tried to at some point. Um... Amber said, I've been trying to reread The Stand by Stephen King. Let me tell you, it's a long... I know, girl. It's like 48 hours on Audible. Um, somebody said, Peter, please link the coffee. It's Kawhi Coffee on um, on Amazon. It's so good. Stacy, hey, girl. How are you? Stacy always gives me the best book recommendations. She said, hey, happy weekend. Kristen said, yes, a treadmill would be a good investment. I've said that before. You're always right, Kristen. <laughs> You're no, you're right. But like, I would love to have like a big treadmill. Like my dad has one in his basement, but we can't, like there's no space here. But like a mat would be great. And so, yes, you're right about that. Um, I saw the new horror movie Long Legs last night and I really think you would like it, Peter, just knowing the kind of horror movies you like. It's, uh, what's the guy, who's in it? I saw it last night, some ad for it, but it was just the guy's face on it. It gave me Silence of the Lambs vibes. Okay, I'll definitely check that out. Katie said, just a comment, two red hearts. Um... Aw, Christine said my mom just passed June 26th and I kept some of her favorite books to read myself. Aw, to me it's something we can still share. I love that and I'm so sorry about the passing of your mom. Sending lots of love and positivity and I hope that you're doing okay, sweetie. Um, don't ever let anybody push you into speeding through grief. You gotta you got do it at your own time, right? Um, oh my God, Tia and this pool in the garage. She sent me all these pictures about this pool. In the, I was like, our garage is too small. She goes, get a smaller pool. <laughs> She's like, Jaws, get a bigger boat. <laughs> I'm not even making that promise to you right now. I'm going to tell you, and I know that you love the idea. Here, I should send you the picture of what she sent me. Hold on a second. It's really kind of funny. Where is it at? Here it is. This is the picture. She wants me to do a pool in my garage because the HOA can't say anything about it. But girl, I'm going to tell you right now, okay? I am going to watch Damsel. I'm not putting a pool in my garage. <laughs> I'm just not. Okay. Let's read just a couple more comments. But I thought that that was really funny. She goes, I'm not even joking. <laughs> I go, I know you're not joking, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> First of all, my husband would never allow it, okay? He would just never allow it. Um... Oh, Rachel said the Tampa News shows dates of things in history or cel cel celebrity birthdays. And yesterday was a date that To Kill Mockingbird was published in 1960. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Somebody said, do you mean To Kill Mockingbird by Harper Lee? Because, I don't know. I'm kind of confused about these responses of what people are asking, but I guess, so Rachel said it did. It came out in 7-11-60. I did not know that. Um, oh my God, so Casey talked about sheet forts, tucking it all over your room or tied up. I love the comments about forts, making forts and people sleeping in their closets and stuff like that. I love that. All right, you guys, listen, I'm going to get off here now so I can get this uh, vlog up and get it rendered so that you guys will have it to watch when I get home from dinner. And um, I'm going to go uh, start getting ready now so that I can... Uh, look cute. It's like so hot outside. I wanted to wear, so last night I wanted to wear this button down collared, uh, like Ralph Lauren shirt that I have. And then like, I was like, I think I might've worn this last time that I went to dinner with this group. So I looked at the last picture, which was that birthday before we went on to Mexico, Alex's birthday dinner. And I looked and it was the same shirt. I was like, I can't wear this. So last night, what did I end up wearing last night? I don't even remember. Oh, I wore a black polo, not like polo polo, but just like, it was like uh, uh, Goodfellas from Target. It actually looked kind of cute. I wore that and a pair of jeans and my Birkenstock sandals. 
It was so casual though, because I'm always like, okay, I'm gonna do my hair because I don't wanna wear a hat to dinner. There were so many hats out last night. I was like, I could have totally worn a hat. So I don't know, tonight I might go a real casual. Like it is hot. I might do like shorts and a t-shirt tonight and some sandals. And I'll probably do my hair because I just don't like always like, maybe people always say that my hair is so nice. I'm getting my hair cut on Tuesday. Tuesday is gonna be a rough day of Ubers for me because I have my hair appointment. And then I have to film that afternoon because I won't have filmed on Monday. I mean, I'll have to, but I'm gonna want to. And then Tuesday night, we have therapy. So I have to take an Uber to therapy and I have to leave her at 5.15, which means, so I'm gonna have like two to three hours. It actually will be good because when I get back from my hair appointment, it'll be like, I'll, I'll be like film, 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 and then post and then turn around and get ready. So that'll actually be really good. But Tuesday, I'm getting my hair cut. It needs it. It's like really long right now. I don't know if I want to go like really short or if I want to grow it out a little bit long. I guess it's not too long right now. She did a really nice job last time. Anyway, okay, I'm going to get off here now. I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing, I'm like just like sweaty, just like sitting out here. Oh, by the way, this is my uh, Jimi Hendrix shirt that's supposedly cropped, but it's like so long. It's not cropped at all. It's their new crop, they call it, which comes down past my pockets on my shorts, but I love it. So anyway... Oh, when I was on vacation, I got so many compliments on this t-shirt, too. Isn't it so cute? It says Jimi Hendrix on the bottom of it. All right, you guys. Why do I feel like my... I hear my husband down there. He's probably getting ready. That's probably his hint. Like, you need to be in the shower. <laughs> okay, we have a half an hour. Anyway, I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Saturday. If nobody else has told you this today, I love you, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Love ya.